When you're talking about people coming down and clenching together, that really makes me think about children, especially special needs children, oh, yeah. where, you know, things are happening in, in much faster rates. I feel like in the brain, you know, all of these uh, ASD kids and they grind so much. I, I have heard in our field, people say that grinding is 100% airway. And I'm like, no, I don't think it is. There's so much more that we don't know. We can never say 100%, yeah. you know? So I'll, I'll tell you, it's not 100% airway, but it is 100% perception, uh, and I'll tell you why. So 100% perception means that, like, our brain's always receiving signals, right? And those kids who are neurodivergent on the spectrum and stuff like that, like, mm -hmm. um, the problem is, like, you and I, when we learn something, we compartmentalize and categorize, right? We can mm -hmm. see things that are important, not important. They just think everything's important and then they can't calm that system down and then they rock and they grind. They don't have to have sleep disorder breathing for this. That that comes in because of the because of the perception of the brain. Let's call it the consciousness, you know, kind of spiritual mm -hmm. guy, right? So something is creating um, creating a, a discomfort within the consciousness. And our most powerful, my most powerful nerves was the trigeminal nerve. It's trying to do the best it can to feed back to the vagus nerve. Hey, like kick in, like, you know, start calming me down. And sometimes that doesn't happen, especially mm -hmm. in a lot of people with like generational trauma, right? Most mm -hmm. generational inherited family traumas. Uh, there's a lot of brushing that kind of goes on, but it, they don't have to have airway issues, right? Uh, they have to have that perception, their perceived reality that there's discomfort that's really there. To, to create that mechanism that's there.